back into here. Can you guys see my screen again? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So yeah, so manage expectations and then you're gonna have to figure out what you're gonna sacrifice. It might mean your favorite TV show um, or just lounging TV time on, in the couch, whatever. That's what I'm sacrificing right now. That's Brian's in the, in the living room right now. Baby's in bed and he's watching TV and I'm here with you guys. Oh. We make sacrifices for the things that we're trying to get. Um, so the last one is that um, you've gotta figure out like why like what we've talked about in this business all the time, what's your why? Why are you doing this? Um, and that's really what's going to motivate you this month because it's going to be hard. You're not going to want to always work in your business. You're going to want to do other things. You're going to want to go to bed. You're going to want to stay. You're going to want to sleep in. You're going to want to go hang out with your friends. Um, and the thing that's going to push you is the reason why you're doing this. Um, and so I just want to, and like we talk about it and it's like the, everyone's like pageant answer is like, Oh, I want to help people. I want to make everybody, you know, lose weight and end the trends of obesity. And that's what we do as coaches, but that's not why we do it. And every person has their own why. And um, without getting really deep, I'm going to try, I want to, I want to just share with you guys my why a little bit. Um, just so you understand um, a, a little bit more about me, but B just so you can, you can understand what, like what I mean by this. Um, cause I want you guys to figure this out. If you don't know yet, I want, I want you to dig deep this week and figure, figure it out. Um, and it can change as you go, as you grow in this business. For me, I didn't really realize what my why was until recently. Um, but so for, for my reasoning for this business, I say all the time is Arrington. Arrington is my why. And as a, as, as a proud parent, that's, you know, that's, that's the parent response. Like, I feel like that's a pageant response for a parent to say, oh, I'm doing this for my kids. Um, but for me, it's so much deeper than that. Um, I go, it goes back to my, to my story a little bit um, in that I was raised in a Christian home and then went to college and left my entire relationship with Christ at home. I didn't bring it to college. I left church. I started drinking, smoking, partying like crazy. Um, I got involved in a really stupid relationship. I was living with a guy um, and we got pregnant. And um, I had to make a decision at that point what I was going to do. And um, after a lot of deliberation, I decided to have an abortion. I decided that that would be the best decision for me because that's who I was at the time. I was a really selfish, self-serving um, person and I didn't care about anybody but me and I knew what a burden that would be to an 18-year-old girl. Um, so that's what I did and immediately afterward for the next several months of my life, like I don't even remember much of that time period for the next like, three or four months after that because my life was so in a fog. Um, I was completely convinced, like Satan had completely attacked me. And I grew up, I told you, I grew up in a Christian home, so I knew how wrong that was. I knew that was a terrible thing to do. Um, and it was like one of those like unforgivable sins. And I had such like, um, um, I had such a hard time accepting what I had done um, in that, in those few months afterward that like I was convinced that, um, that God was not going to like that. I, I knew one day that I wanted to be married and happily married and I wanted to have lots of kids. And all I could imagine was that God was just going to say, no, like I gave you that chance, you know, and you chose what you chose and that's it. That's all you get. And I was convinced that I was never going to be able to have kids. Um, and I was terrified of that. Um, and it's something that like really, um, messed with me for a really long time. And Satan really had a hold on me. Um, with that, I was, con I was convinced that I wasn't going to be able to have kids. Um, I, and I didn't believe that God could forgive me. I knew that I would never be able to forgive me. And it was just one of the like hardest things for me to deal with. And it was about four to five months of me just living in a fog. Um, I wouldn't, I, like, I was still in that relationship, but I wouldn't let him touch me. Our relationship had completely changed. I was completely standoffish. I would cut, I, I was drinking even more heavily to like forget my pain. Um, I had stopped going, I was in college and I had stopped going to classes completely. Um, I had like cut off all my friends and I was just um, wallowing in bills that were just piling up because I didn't have a job. I wasn't going to school. I was just, I don't even remember what I was doing other than drinking all the time and like blacking out like from drinking so much. Um, and 
I remember one day I felt like I came home um, to my apartment and I was there alone and I was so relieved that I was there alone because I went into my bedroom and I like fell to the floor um, and I just started bawling my eyes out. I was just a solid freaking wreck. I was crying and screaming and yelling like I don't like – I don't even understand. I don't know what I was yelling. I was yelling at God. I was mad. I was sad. I was frustrated at what I had done with my life. Like not even just that moment, but like all of the decisions that I had made in college were bad and I'd hurt myself and hurt other people. Um, and I hated who I had become and what it had led me to do. Um, so I literally, I remember sitting on the floor of my apartment, like in the fetal position crying. And I was like, I'm done. Like, this is enough. I've had enough. This is not who I am anymore. I am not going to be this person. I know this is not who God created me to be. I know that um, he's got so much more for me. And I know that this is not it. This is, I'm not living my life the way that he wants me to. And I'm no, I'm done with this. So I didn't know what it would look like or what it meant. But in that moment, I kind of believed, I, I kind of accepted God's forgiveness for what I had done, but I, it took me several years after that to really like believe, um, not even to believe, but to forgive myself for, for that decision. Um, and then, um, since that moment, I've like really spent my life, this is way before Beachbody, but I've just spent my life like trying consistently to make, improve myself, you know, getting, getting a better job, finishing my education, stop, you know, stop the partying and stop the, the, drugs and um i found you know that's when i found ryan and that's when i got really involved in my church because i wanted to surround myself with people that were you know going to better me and build me up and it was really um it was really just a it's it's been a, like an uphill climb since then and sometimes i'm like level out and i'm not growing for a while but then i realize it and i just like keep going up because i don't want to be the same i don't want to go that back that back to that direction um so the day that the day that I got pregnant or the day that I realized that I was pregnant with Arrington was just I had the big I really finally like truly I feel feel like experienced that forgiveness um, of myself and that like just a burden was lifted off my shoulders like that God we're just a reminder that we serve a God that is grace not rules not law um, and that he loves us unconditionally no matter what we could possibly do um, and so I have this beautiful, perfect baby girl right now. And every day that I look at her, she is a reminder to me of um, the decisions that I've made and the grace that God, that God has given me. And she's going to have the most amazing life. And I am, I am dedicated to that. And I have worked really hard to build myself up to be the kind of person that, she, that, that the kind of woman that she can look up to. Um, and I want to model a marriage. I want her to grow up and want to be married because she experienced what marriage looks like in my household. And she's going to, um, grow up as such a strong woman with confidence and with, um, oh man. <sighs> I know we're all crying. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so that, so I just, oh man, so I'm, I'm still working on being able to verbalize the story. I have not shared it a lot. Um, so forgive me, I'm I, a little bit rabbit trail, but so that, that's when I say that Arrington is my reasoning and why I'm here every day, I want you to understand that. Like it's so much deeper than, you know, oh, she's my daughter and I want her to, you know, have nice things. It's so much more than that. Like it's me working on becoming a better version of myself. And that means taking other women along with me. That means building a team of women that like there are, and I know there are women out there and maybe even on this team right now that have experienced something like I have and know, have experienced God's grace and know that he, you know, has forgiven you and can like can use that to really like build us into the women that he's created us to be. And um, I have a message and I am going to share that from the rooftops when I'm brave enough to do that <laughs> as I continue to grow. Um, but yes, so I just, I share that. I didn't mean to get all emotional, but I wanted you guys to understand how like that's really deep for me. Um, so I want to encourage you guys to sit down and, and really think about like why you are here. And like I said, I didn't even mention Beachbody in that, did I? Like that's not, it has nothing to do with Beachbody. 
this is a beach body is a, is a venue for me to use to be able to help women grow in themselves and physically is the best way to start building women's confidence because so many women lack confidence because of that and when you can start them you know expose them to a positive lifestyle um, that really just starts the snowball effect and gets them up on that same upward trajectory that I'm working at on in my life and I you know, refuse to accept, you know, normal anymore. Like I will continue to be on an upward trajectory until the day I die. And I want every woman that I come in contact with to be the same way. Um, so yeah, so that's me. Love you, Steph. I love you guys too. Very much, very much. Whew, back to business. <laughs> so expectations for this month. So the first thing is that I expect you to work hard and show up every day. Um, I expect you to stay motivated and positive. I don't want negativity or um, just bad mouthing or, you know, oh man, this person won't buy a freaking challenge back after I've spent so much time with them. I don't want that. Like we're going to be positive and because we're trying to help people. And if this person's not ready to be helped, we move on and we help the next one. Um, and I want you guys to stay engaged with the group, with each other, because we're going to like fuel each other, you know, iron shape sharpens iron. We're going to be able to help each other through this. Um, and when you do get frustrated or um, are in a slump and can't figure out what's going on or why nobody will say yes, share, you know, if it's something that has nothing to do with this, like if it's something in your, like if you're having a problem in your marriage, you got a big fight today with your husband or with your boyfriend or with your parents or somebody and you just are not in the mood to do this share let us know so we can encourage you and help you you know use this as an outlet to help you know get you back in a better mood kind of thing um, so share what's going on in your lives um, next is stay committed to this group and check in daily um, I said it's not like a challenge group because I'm not gonna post a daily challenge for each of you guys to do like we do our challengers. Um, I want you to post your power hour. Show us, this is how many people I talked to today. This is how many invitations I sent. Um, this is how many new friends that I got. Um, or whatever you do that day to move your to move your business forward and to earn those those successful points. Um, and I set, I set up at the beginning of that group chat for all of us. So feel free to use it to um, send questions or update each other. Hey, I just, you know, sold another challenge pack or Hey, I just rank advanced, you know, whatever. Um, share that kind of stuff in our group chat so we can celebrate each other that way. Um, and if you come up with a script, whether you make it up on your own or you find it in the coach training and it's really working for you, tell us, tell us so we can all start using it and so we can all benefit from it. Cause we're here as a, we're individual businesses here, but we're here in this team cup together, um, to help you know, build each other up. Um, and then the key for this is going to be follow up, follow up, follow up. So anybody that you have talked to in the past before this team cup that has already said no to you, follow up with them, reach out to them again be like, Hey, I know you weren't interested then. Is this something, you know, is this new dance program, something you might be interested in? Um, everything is all about follow up. And I, it's been so crazy. I've been in this month business now for eight months and I have people that like I invited like my first month that didn't even like respond to my invitation and then like, message me recently and be like, Hey, I love all your positive posts. They make me so happy. I get so excited to see your face on my newsfeed. Cause I know there's always something, you know, something positive going on. You never post anything negative. Um, what is this? What is, so what is this thing you're doing? Like, you know, and so I have the opportunity to talk about it. So follow up, follow up, follow up. Um, one invitation to somebody is probably not going to get them to say yes. So be prepared to talk to people for a while. Um, yeah, cause I told you already that I want you to post daily what you did for your power hour. You guys can't see this, but I don't have the tag. I still have the tag on my jacket. What am I itching? Um, so next is I've got a file set up in our team cup group for us to update our success club points so we can all see where we're at. So we can all like, you know, motivate each other. Oh, you've got two points. You're the first one on the board or, you know, you're so close to hitting success club five. Um, so keep that up. Start. What? When does the week start? Like Saturday. But so the first person, if you get two success club points on Saturday, you win for that week. Yeah. Yep, because uh, yeah, because August is first is a Saturday. Yep, um, and then like I, I keep saying this, you're gonna hear no's, you're gonna hear a lot of them, um, but don't take them personally. 
and for your power hour. So I set this up for you guys. It's kind of like a template. Um, don't forget the three first things on here are most important um, because you've got to take care of you before you can take care of anybody else. So personal development, um, you need to be reading or listening to something that is bettering you. Um, if you are a believer, your Bible is great, but that does not, that is not the only thing you should be reading. Um, you should be reading something in a day. If you, if you want to do a personal devotional, that's great. And I do it. Um, but that doesn't count as your personal development for the day. You need to do something on top of that. Um, that's going to push you on some, pick some sort of skill that you're not good at, something that you are not confident with, whether it's confidence or, um, or just being a organized person or managing your, everybody struggles with time management. Can I get an amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, everybody struggles with that. And so, um, find, find a book on personal development. I mean, that is personal on time management or, um, we have on my YouTube channel, I have the slight edge audio book right there for everybody. That's an amazing book that'll knock your socks off. And I totally encourage you to listen to it. Um, and if you hate to read books, you can do audio. You can do this Well, what is that? I, it knocked my socks off. Oh. <laughs> um, you, can do, you can listen to audio books. They're just as good. And there's so many like podcasts too. It doesn't have to be a, of a specific book. I listen to a lot of the top coaches um, give inspirational stuff on YouTube or um, like uh, the speakers from Summit um, Simon Sinek, I follow him on Insta. Um, I'm sorry, on YouTube, and he posts all sorts of videos about his books and all this awesome motivational stuff um, and how to figure out your why and stuff like that too. So he's a great person to follow, um, and you can just find somebody and you can listen to it while you're folding laundry, while you're doing the dishes. Um, I have mine set up with my phone in my bathroom, so I can listen to it while I'm getting ready in the morning, while I'm in the shower, um, while I'm in the car. I've got personal development on all the freaking time. Which is much easier when you have a baby and it doesn't allow you to sit down and read a book. Um, and where I said PD and aha moment, um, when you're when you're sharing with us in the group, like what you did for your power hour, an aha moment. We do this a lot in Beachbody World. Um, will you will you mute yourself, Jess? So you're not on the recording. Yeah. How do I do? Okay. Never mind. Yeah. Thank you. Um, when you have an, uh, like an aha moment with Beachbody, we talk about that. It's when like you could read the same book eight times and get something different out of it every time. Um, just share like a one liner from what you read that day, something that really struck you, um, because it can probably inspire somebody else too. Um, so feel free to share that kind of stuff with your group as well. You need to be working out. Um, we're Beachbody coaches. Our work is working. <laughs> My husband yells at me all the time. Did you get your workout in today? No, babe, I didn't. Well, that's your job. <laughs> so work out, period. Do it. Um, and drink your Shakeology. Eat your, you know, eat well. Do your 21-day fixed meal plan. Whatever you're doing, um, stick with it. Um, next, when it comes down to the business part, um, I'm encouraging you guys to send 10 personal messages a day. And this is going to be people on your list that you've created. Um, this is people that are you're going to be talking about non-beach body stuff. And we say forming. Um, this stands for um, talking to them about four different things. Their family. F is for family. O is for occupation. R is for recreation, like what they like to do. And M is your message, what you're trying to communicate. Hey, I wanted to invite you to a challenge group. Um, you might be able, there's some people on your list that you might be able to form in a day. And there's some people that it will take you six months to get through that. So just we're just going to start those conversations. So send 10 new personal messages uh, on non beach body stuff um, every day. Um, oops. What was the O for again? Family, occupation, recreation, and message. Thank you. And then you're going to send six, six invitations to your accountability group. I say accountability group. It's a challenge group. But outside of beach body coaches, people don't know what a challenge group is. It can sound kind of scary. Um, and we're really just supporting them. So when you, I, I've gotten a lot more success when I call it an accountability group, a fitness or health accountability group. Um, people kind of can relate to that a little bit more. Um, so you're going to send six invitations out specifically for that. So those will be people that you have already started forming. It may, may be people that you formed last week or you started those conversations with last week that now you're able to invite them. Or this is people you already have relationships with, that are closer friends that you feel comfortable with inviting. Um, 
And I will say real quick, you will be scared. Like it, it's not always easy, especially in the beginning to send these invitations. And even now, sometimes I'm like, I don't know what this person is going to think of me, but I'm going to send it anyway. Um, and don't be afraid. Just do it. Um, I, I struggle with it too. We all do. Um, because we care what people think about us and we shouldn't. <laughs> um, so just hit, hit send. Even if you're, if you know, if you're curious about it, if, or even if you're like weary about it, just hit it. Um, and next is, is, is trying to send two invitations to coaching a day. Um, and this one's going to be a little bit harder. And I know it was harder for me in the beginning because this is people that you think would be good beach body coaches. So this could be people that, um, moms that, you know, that are stay at home moms won't have a job or people that are working several different jobs, trying to pay bills or people that, you know, are looking for something on the side or looking for a second job, um, or people that are super into fitness. Um, there's lots of different like avenues that this business can take and there's lots of different ways to present it. So look for those kind of people on your Facebook and save coaching invitations for those kind of people. Um, also not on here, just a side note, when you're inviting people to do a challenge group um, and they say yes, always start with offering them, like when they say, yes, I want to do this, before you just send them the challenge pack link, offer to um, talk to the, offer them, you know, our preferred customer discount, okay, which is our essentially our, our, our discount coach but they don't know what a discount coach is. They think you're going to make them coach and post stuff on Facebook and that scares them. So offer, you know, you don't have to use beach body words offer, you know, would you like our preferred customer discount, which, you know, your price will be 140 today. Um, but this will save you $15 on your Shakeology for every month after that. So if you, you know, if you think you're going to do it more than a month, it makes sense to save some money. And most of the time I don't even ask them. I just say, Hey, I just sent you the link for our preferred customer discount. And it's going to say, it's going to say coach. Don't let that alarm you. It's our, it's what we call our preferred customers. And this is, this is what it looks like. Um, so typically I just go ahead and send them the link. And if somebody's like, wait a minute, this is coaching. What does this mean? Then I'm like, then I explain it to them. And usually they're like, Oh, okay, great. Thanks. Thanks for, thanks for saving me money. Um, every once in a while, somebody's like, actually, I really am not comfortable doing that. Can I just, can I just do a challenge back? And then you can do it that way. But that's a great way too for you guys to build up because all of those coaches that you guys need to help rank in advance, they do not all have to be business builders. To hit Aunt Diamond, only two of them have to be business builders. So you just need coaches on your team. Most of my team is built out of discount coaches. So just can um, use that as a great invitation way to, to build up your discount coaches. Um, and then add five new Facebook friends. Um, a day. And this is like, for you guys, this would be a lot easier than it is for me because I, I now have 1800 friends, which is crazy to me. I don't know half of them. Um, but add five new friends and you can do this by going to like your best friends, Facebook page, go to their friends list. Um, and then click people that you might know. I think you have to, might have to click more on the options. Um, but there's a, there's a link there that says people that you might know, and it shows, Oh, you have like 25 mutual friends. Those are much people. When people see that they have mutual friends, they're much easier to like agree to be your friend. And a lot of times you'll be like, Oh wow, that is my friend. And I didn't even realize that we weren't Facebook friends. Um, so that's a great way to, to do that. So just go on people, people that you know, people that, um, that you like people that you spend a lot of time with. Um, for me in the beginning, I went on Ryan's page and I literally like friended every girl on his page because I was like, I'm your wife. I should be friends with all your girlfriends anyway, you know? <laughs> and so, um, that's a good way to do it too. So it's, it's really, really simple, really easy to just, um, add five new friends each day to your list. And add, as you add them to your Facebook, when you click that, you know, add friend, add them to your Facebook list. And so you, you can, you know, follow up with them and start forming them as well. Um, and the last thing is our goal is to post three times daily on Facebook. Um, and this is everything you could be posting. Like that's why we're doing this power hour because you can share that aha moment that we're asking you to find during your personal development on your Facebook page. Why not with a selfie? You know, that's what I did this morning. That was my positive post this morning about being positive. That's what my devotional was talking about was, um, being joyful in suffering even. Um, and I've had a really crummy, Jessica knows we talked earlier, but I've had a really crummy day today. Um, and I've tried to keep my positive face on because I know that I'm being tested. And I learned the other day that a bad day is good data and I'm learning what I need to do differently tomorrow. Um, so that kind of stuff, post about your personal development, share your sweaty selfie or do a, you know, do a workout on your, people love video on Facebook. So feel free to, you know, 
look at your 21 day fix video and do one of the workouts for like just a 10 second video. It doesn't have to be a five minutes of you doing push ups. Um, do a 10 second clip of push ups outside or show somebody, hey, while you're waiting in line at car line or while you're standing in line at the grocery store, you can be doing calf raises. Um, just show just show something like that. Um, there's so many easy things that you can share on Facebook. Um, if you need ideas, feel free to look at my page or Brandy is even better. She posts so much more than I do. I'm trying to get on that, but I'm struggling, like I said. Um, but just try not to copy posts. Like don't like watch Brandy post a video and don't make that video and post it the same day. Um, go backwards like on our, on our history like a month or two months or something like that and look at posts and you can get steal ideas that way. Um, or look at top coaches. Look at what they're posting because that's obviously working. Um, and post something like that. Um, yeah, I got my format ideas from, I get my format ideas from Bonnie. Your format, what do you mean? Like when she makes her post, she'll, she'll do, she'll write a paragraph, small paragraph, and she puts a period. Then she puts more words and then a period. So it's not like word vomiting your face. Yeah. So that's what I've been doing, um, for my posts. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. Okay. So that's that. And the last thing, and I didn't put it on here, um, is after you've done all those things, then respond to messages in your inbox. Because, oops, because as you're, like, so you're sending 10 messages a day, you're going to send those 10 messages, and then you're going to let, let them sit, okay? And then you're going to keep moving down your list, send out your six invites, send out your two coaching emails, ask your five Facebook friends before you touch your messages. Because otherwise, you will spend your entire, there will be one person that's going to be sitting on their computer with nothing to do, and it's going to message you back and forth for like three hours. <laughs> and you got nothing done. So don't let that happen to you. Stay focused. Get your, get, be able to check everything off your list that you accomplished it that day, and then check your messages. And then like, because as you're sending 10 private messages a day, um, over 31 days, that's 310 people that you will have contacted. So with the, like, that's a lot of people that are going to be potentially messaging you back. <laughs> so be prepared for that and, and like respond to those later and don't feel obligated. The second somebody sends you a message that you have to respond, especially for those of you, um, I ever, that, that are in like that. I mean, we all have priorities and we all have family. Like I'm not going to respond to somebody, even if they want to buy a challenge pack at that moment. If it's, if I'm sitting at the dinner table with my husband, I am not going to walk away from the computer because my phone ding. Okay. So don't like those people will wait if they're ready, they're going to wait. So let them wait until you are ready to do it. Otherwise you'll be sitting in front of your computer all day long on messenger and you won't get anything done. Um, this, the, the second way for you to is do not scroll. Don't do it. What do you mean by that? When you, when you log into facebook.com on your computer or your phone and your newsfeed is there, and you just scroll through your newsfeed. And all of a sudden, half an hour has gone by. And you have a ring on your butt because you're still sitting on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about just mindlessly scrolling, looking for people to talk to. Well, we have a list. That's why we made a list in the beginning. You're not looking for people to talk to. You are focused on your list right now. Um, so if you, I don't have the information here, but if you Google, um, if I can actually, I'll post it in the group for you. Um, Facebook Eradicator. Um, you can have it. I can't show you because I can't show you my internet screen. But when I log into Facebook, I don't have a news feed anymore. It's gone. Like, I have it hidden. So I have to physically, like, hit a couple other buttons to be able to find it. Um, so it's not like the first thing when you sign into Facebook, oh, look, a puppy. Like, oh, look, somebody had a baby. Um, it keeps me because otherwise, you know, Brandy and I call it squirrels. Like all of a sudden it's like, whoa, 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 what's going on? And then an hour and a half has gone by and it's like, oh wait, I still have only sent one message, man. Yeah. So um, getting rid of your newsfeed can really help that. So, that's, oh, this is the last slide, yay. So we set some scary goals for this month, but um, believing that we can actually do this and that we, the five of us, can go to LA and get to work with Sean T. OMG. 
Um, just by leave, believing that we can do this, we're already halfway there. So if you have that attitude that this is easy and this is, can, can easily come to me and God's going to bring these people to me to be able to help this month. If you believe that you can do this, you're already on your way there. And as long as you have that attitude that this is easy, God's going to bring these people. I know what, you know, what to expect this month. It's going to be great. I'm going to work hard. Believe it and it's gonna happen. If you think that it's really difficult and I can't, like there's no way I'm gonna help this many people, you're not going to. Um, so you've gotta keep that positive attitude and you have to believe in yourself that you can do this. Um, and Walt Disney said, all your dreams can come true if you just have the courage to pursue them. And that's what it's gonna take this month is talking to those people that you haven't talked to in a while. It's courage, it's sending that invitation when you don't know what somebody's gonna to respond to it, but you have to make yourself vulnerable and send it. Um, same thing with posting on Facebook. You've got to share what's going on in your life. Nobody wants to know that everything's perfect and you're a Barbie doll and you have the best life ever. You need to show that this is what I look like when I wake up in the morning or, you know, I forget to pay the power bill too and my lights aren't on. Whoops. You know, you've got to admit those things and share those kind of things on Facebook because they make you more relatable as well. Um, and big goals um, always seem impossible until they're done. So let's just do this. I'm so excited to be on this team. I really, I like handpicked each of you guys. I've got a team of like 15 now or 15 or 20 coaches on my team. Um, and everybody is, um, I mean, I've only been doing this for eight months. So it's very, very new to the business. A lot of people have just decided they want to start building this business. And I um, handpicked you guys because I feel like I, I believe in all of you. And I know that we can do this together and that we, um, are going to really like blow this up. So I'm really excited to lead you guys to the promised land. And yes. that is all I got for you. So do you two that are here have any questions before our eight minutes is up? Yes. Yes. Um, so I'm assuming the answer is yes, but so for the beach body team cup, that wording and that we are in this competition is a internal thing, correct? Yes. Okay, so we're not going to be like, hey, y'all, there's the beach body team cup. Check it out. So, okay. You can, you can like, say, you can, you can ask, I mean, you can post about it. Like, hey, you know, like you can be excited about it and like tag, you know, our team kind of thing if you want. Um, but don't, I don't want it to sound like you're like trying to sell like, oh my gosh, I'm, I, ooh, I'm going to say this out loud. Do not be like the work reps that say, um, hey, I'm try I'm so close to a promotion. I've just got to sell one more mascara. You know, would you like to look at it? Yeah. I don't want that kind of stuff. That's not going to build your business. That's not going to do anything. Nobody believes you. Um, so if you want to say, had, you know, having, so having so much fun pushing myself way past what I thought I could do, you know, or so excited, you know, we're going to LA or we've got big goals, you know, whatever. You can say that kind of stuff. That's fine. You don't have to keep it a secret. Um, but just don't be obnoxious about it. Okay. Any other questions? No, I'm really sorry to keep you guys on this call this long. I really had no intention to do that. I promise. No, baby. But that's all I got. I'm so excited to get started. Are you guys excited? Yeah. yeah. Just Let's go. Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. All right, I'm gonna take a picture real quick. Oh, sh sh oh, I almost cursed, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what was that? I'm gonna try to take a picture. Can either, can either of you, Christine, can you screenshot? Yes. Yes, because I can't do it, my screenshot is broken and it's gonna be really grainy on my phone. Yeah, all right. You can do it? Oh, wait. All right, let me know when you guys are ready. Ready. Oh well, you're taking, you're doing all this crazy stuff here. <laughs> that's, a, that's terrible, but whatever. One, two. Got it. Thanks. Oh, wait, let me do one more because I might have missed our team name. Hold on. My face looks right. very fat. Here we go. One, two. Hello. Got it. Hello. Thank you. Um, and on that note, hold on. <laughs>